Let me tell you a true story. A junior year of college, I was taking a statistics class that was a requirement for my degree, right? It was stats 302. <laughs> statistics in college is much more difficult than statistics in high school. So I was taking a statistics class and I knew it was going to be hard, difficult, challenging to say the least. I'd already taken a statistics 301, right? So I'm in statistics 302 junior year. I get in there, I know it's going to be difficult, so what do I do? You think I didn't put in the work, right? That's what you think. I busted my ass in that class. Busted my ass. Had an A in that class. Ta front row seat, center seat, first exam, three exams for that semester, first exam, aced. Aced it. Very easy, right? Three weeks goes by, second exam. What did I get on that second exam? Can anyone guess? Can anyone guess? I got a C. Second exam, I got a C. You wanna know why I got a C? I had forgotten how much effort and focus and determination I put into getting that first A. I was so blinded by my accomplishments, something that I did, something that I did. No one else could have done that. I was so blinded by the success that I decided, I told myself that I didn't need to work as hard, right? I sliced myself out. What do you think I got in that last exam? What do you think I got in that last exam? I got a D. The last exam. I came out of that class barely obtaining a C. You know how I passed the class with a C? I had to do extra credit to be average, to get a C in a class that I knew I had to bust my ass in. And I had proven to myself previously that I was fully capable of doing so. You understand? I did that. I failed myself. Now I could have blamed myself for hanging out with my friends. I could have blamed myself for partying, which I didn't really do. I had my own ways of partying to each his own. But my point is this. Don't look for success. Don't work hard for success. Don't strive hard for success and then drop the ball. What a waste. What a disappointment. What an embarrassment, right? You know what I did? So in college, I don't know if they have this in high school. In some schools they do. I don't know if they have this here. But in college, because you're moving into a new kind of space socially in life, you're considered an adult and you have other responsibilities. So in college, most colleges will afford you what is called a credit replacement, right? So you could fail a class or get a grade that doesn't quite sit well with you, but you have the option to take the class over. And you can only use this, I think, maybe three times in a four-year degree plan, right? That's three classes in four years. You know how many classes one has to take in a four years at university? Perspective. 12 months times four years is 48 months. Can we agree? Now imagine being allotted only three mistakes in a 48-month time frame. But that's crazy when you think about it, right? Mistakes across the board including accidentally dropping a plate on your mom's floor or missing the bus or something small like forgetting to tie your shoe. Colleges don't grant many chances because success is not designed for people who need more chances. Success is designed for people who are going to try their best every time, get it right, and excel. Success is designed for people to have options. You take many classes in four years. You don't want to fail any of those classes. You don't want to especially fail classes your parents are paying for if you're not on scholarship. But even if you are, that's someone's resources being dropped down the porcelain pee hole, you know? I wasn't on scholarship. So again, this is a true story. Now listen up. So I failed that class. In my mind, I failed it. I failed it because I failed myself. Now, technically in black and white on paper, I didn't fail, I got a C. A funky C, but I decided to take one of those class replacement credits and I took the class over again. I didn't get the A I could have received initially, walked away with a B. The other thing is, that wasn't good enough. When you do the credit replacement, it still shows up on your transcript that you failed your first attempt, your first chance at passing that class. So it's still kind of, even though you went back and you, and you completed something, that looks good. It looks okay, it shows dedication, it shows responsibility, 
But that original grade, that failing grade, shows procrastination, right? It tells people that you're not serious. It tells people that you're not focused. It tells people that you're easily distracted, right? It tells people that you lack time management, you lack execution, you lack preparation, and most importantly, you lack self-respect. Now let that sink in a bit. If you're going to do something, you're gonna to commit to it. Do you understand me? You're gonna do something right the first time, am I correct? You wanna do something right the first time, especially when you're paying for it, but not even. When you're not paying for it, somebody, somebody's paying for it. Someone is paying for you to have options. It could be with time, it could be with resources, payment could be made through a network, networking, communications, connections or finances, knowledge. Someone is paying for you to be here. I guarantee it. And that failing grade showed lack of respect for not only myself, but for my mother, my parent, the person that was funding my education, the person that gave her last for me to have a future. My actions were beyond disrespectful. And let me tell you something, wasting people's time will catch up to you in life. And that's not the type of karma you want to receive when you're expecting your miracle because trust me, that is the first thing that will be delayed. All of these things read on paper before you even get into the room, right? All of these things read on paper. You gotta do better. You have to be better.